the human brain is one of the most mysterious objects in the universe. It has 100 billion neurons, as much as all the galaxies in the universe, in a single brain. There are 100 trillion synapses connecting those neurons. And it's the electrical activity in this massive network that determine our behavior, how we perceive images, how we think, how we act. But what are the brain signals when we perceive our family? How do brain signals change when we see an object or when we perceive something or when we imagine doing something? Neuroscientists and computer scientists have now been working to understand the secrets hidden in brain signals streaming directly from brains and using machine learning. Now imagine if you're a doctor treating an injured brain. Now in the past, neurosurgeons looked upon the brain like a muscle, an, an organ made of flesh and blood, and sometimes they treated it like you would treat an injured muscle. But today, with the ability to collect these electrical signals from the brain, from all over the brain, and decoded a whole new frontier of neurosurgery is emerging. Because now you can understand, potentially understand, what's hidden in those signals and what those are telling you. And that understanding is built on big data and machine learning, and it's going to transform how patients are treated and cared for. Now, treating injured brains is a very important problem in medicine. Did you know that one out of five will suffer a stroke during their lifetime? And millions more will suffer traumatic injuries like concussions. And the devastation from any of these injuries can be very serious. You can have loss of memory, loss of speech or movement, even paralysis. And now, how could such patients so affected, communicate with a caregiver or with their loved ones? How could they express their sorrow or their needs or pain or joy? How could we help patients with paralysis? Can we, by understanding brain signals, give them new communication abilities and perhaps even help them recover? Imagine Imagine if a paraplegic could control artificial limbs just by thinking. From there, the computer can distinguish the two types of brain activity. Imagining movement right. and not imagining movement, then use that information to enable hand control by mental activity. Understanding signals from neurons in the brain will help scientists find ways to make such devices are reality. And the possibilities are amazing. They could transform lives, perhaps even yours. Advances in sensors, machine learning, and the cloud are the things that are making such things a possibility. You know, traditional signal sensors for brain signal capture, they were these EEG caps that are on the left. But EEG caps are external to the skull. And they even capture some muscle movement-related signals and are not very accurate. But now, neurosurgeons routinely lay electrodes on the surface of the brain, on the very surface of the brain, to collect electrical signals. It's standard practice for epilepsy, for example. The data from these sensors helps neurosurgeons pinpoint where exactly the epileptic seizures are starting in a brain so when they need to do very precise surgery, they can localize the surgery extremely well. But these are cortical sensors. They're directly capturing data from the very surface of the brain, so they're far more accurate. And you can have hundreds of electrodes emitting real-time, time series data from the cortex of the brain, integrating signals from lots of neurons. And remember, these are your brain signals. They encode perceptions, they encode, encode thoughts, and even the intent to act. Now, for example, we can show such patients with those electrodes streaming data, you can show them different images, such as faces or houses, 
And we can stream the signals from those electrodes into systems that can analyze them. Then using machine learning, we can classify these streaming signals and recognize perception and thought. Now, scientists recently showed that we can actually classify these signals to understand whether the brain perceived a face or a house, for example. So cloud-connected brains are actually no longer in the realm of science fiction anymore. We could stream signals from neurosurgery wards into live services in a cloud. And using stream analytics and machine learning, we can help neurosurgeons pinpoint how the brain of an individual patient is working in real time, giving them untold insights into the patient they are treating. Such a system can empower medical researchers and neurosurgeons in completely new ways. For example, to help paralyzed patients communicate, to help them control prosthetics, to diagnose illnesses even that you couldn't diagnose before, and even to repair damage from a stroke or a tumor. Now let me introduce Dr. Kai Miller, a neurosurgeon who operates at the intersection of brains and big data. Now Kai is a neurosurgical resident at Stanford University. He has a PhD in physics and MD and a PhD in neurobiology. In a paper published in January with University of Washington professor Rajesh Rao, he showed how one could read, almost read minds, using electrical signals from these cortical recordings. Welcome, Kai. <clears throat> Thank you, Joseph. It's a true honor to be here. Kai, could you explain some of your research? Yes. On the screen, you'll see uh, an app that illustrates the research that I did with Professor Rajesh Rao. <clears throat> we spent time with our epilepsy patients who had electrodes implanted on the surface of their brain to localize where seizures were starting. During the time that they were in the hospital, we showed them simple pictures of faces and houses for approximately 400 milliseconds each. We were then able to stream this brain into an app and near instantaneously decode uh, the perceptual state of the patient. Um, we were able to predict with more than 90% accuracy whether they were seeing a face or a house and uh, do so with approximately 20%, uh, sorry, 20 millisecond precision. That's amazing. By the way, those sound changes you were hearing were the changes in brain signals when you were seeing a face or a house, the changes, right? Yes, yeah, absolutely. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's pretty profound um, research. What are some of the implications? Well, because the brain is an electrical organ, our ability to decode the electrical signals from the brain uh, is enabling a new generation of prosthetics. Uh, one example is that video that you showed earlier where patients are controlling a, a robotic arm with imagined movements. Mm -hmm. Another uh, emerging uh, technique is uh, decoding the brain while patients are trying to produce speech and producing a speech prosthetic, even when they've uh, physically lost the ability to talk. And where would you like to take this research? Well, I think that we're just at the beginning with these new prosthetics. Um, I envision a time during my lifetime and during my career where we will be able to uh, rewire and rehabilitate the injured brain. Uh, for example, in the schematic that we have on the screen, uh, I would like to be able to record from the part of the brain that perceives speech and plans speech and then stimulate uh, another part of the brain uh, where we produce movements or produce speech in order to uh, reinforce connections and regrow uh, new connections to uh, help uh, rehabilitate the injured brain. That's amazing work. Thank you, Kai. Uh, just one thing. Yeah. Uh, I do think that uh, the analytical minds of the folks in the audience and uh, their ability to do machine learning and understand big data can really help usher in a new era in neurosurgery and in medicine. And I think that uh, we have a lot to learn from you. That could be an amazing collaboration. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you so much for having me. Okay. <laughs> now, I was moved by the work that Kai and his fellow researchers have been doing to help patients and wondered how us, the data science community and the machine learning community, could help accelerate such kind of research by creating perhaps new techniques for decoding brain signals that are far more accurate than neurosurgeons could use. 
So today, we are introducing a competition to help advance the state of the art in interpreting brain signals. So you can find the details of this competition at that URL, aka.ms slash decode signals. There are $5,000 in prizes awaiting the winners. And this is with real data. This is with real data that Kai collected, analyzed, and published in his paper. It's amazing new data that our big data community and data science community has never had access to before. So I encourage you to consider participating and help advance the state of the art in neurosurgery. Now, we are truly on a path to understand the mystery that's a human brain. Now, this endeavor could be the most profound effort to understand humankind since decoding the human genome. It's enabled by technologies like sensors and the internet and big data and machine learning. But it all starts with an idea like Kai had to analyze signals from the brains of epileptic patients with machine learning. Thank you. <laughs>